Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. Um, this week, we're going to jump onto the subject of Roblox, and I'm going to show you how to change profile, visi profile visibility on Roblox. I'm having a hard time speaking. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. I'm going to show you how to do it on the Roblox website on my computer, and then I'm going to show you how to do it on the Roblox app on my phone so you know both ways to do it and it's, it's really easy trust me so last week we covered how to hide suggested reels on instagram i'll put the link down below so you can check it out but we're going to jump into this and before we do make sure you hit the like on this video it really helps our channel also hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos we come out with every thursday and i've been doing well this year 100 percent. so keep checking back every thursday okay Let's start with the website, how to do it on the website, the roblox.com. So I'm going to grab my mouse here and I'm going to drive over to Roblox since I already have it open. I'm already logged in. So if you're not logged in, make sure you do that. Once you're in Roblox, go up to the top right and look for the gear icon for the settings menu or the settings. You want to find settings. In there. This is the gear icon for the menu and then click on settings. And once you click on the settings, you're going to go into obviously the settings. And you're going to look to the um, middle here is under settings. You're going to look to this left menu and you're going to go down to you find privacy and content restrictions. Click on that. Once you do that, you're going to look under privacy and content restrictions. You're going to look down until you get to visibility and private servers. That's pretty easy. And then when you get in here, you're going to look for visibility. It's right in front of you. Click on that. Okay, here's where all the magic happens. When you restrict one of these settings, other related settings may also be restricted. That's fine. We're not worried about that. The main one I, I think is important is the online status. If you wanted to keep yourself from being seen online, I have everybody see me online since I play so much with my kids and stuff. You can just make it your connections, people who follow, and um, people I follow. Or connections and people I follow or just connections, or no one can see you when you're online. So your online status will be hidden from everybody. So you click on that, it automatically saves. You can see it pops at the top. I don't mind everyone seeing me online because I'm not hiding from anybody right now until <laughs> later I might hide. So that first one is just changing who can see you online. And then the next one I think is important too is show current experience. Now experience is what you're playing at the time. So who can see your current experience and join you? Right now, I don't have any idea why I have it set that way, but I have no one's able to see if I'm playing a game and they can join me. I should probably have it be uh, my connections, which would be my kids because they play with me. So I'll put it there. So you can change that to show current experience. So whatever game you're playing at the time and you just click on the which one you want. Everyone, same thing with before and just click on it automatically saves it. Um, and then if you want to share activity updates, allow friends to receive updates about your recent activity and experience, I never have that on. I don't think that's important. I think my privacy is more important than that. So that's where you go on the website to see, to reset your privacy and your visibility. So that's how you do it on your website. So now we're going to move over to my phone and check out the Roblox app and I'll show you how to do it there. Okay, now I hopped over to my Motorola Edge Android phone and we're going to jump onto Roblox here and show you how it's done here. So what you want to do, find Roblox on your phone. Mine's at the top. I tap on that. Once you're on Roblox, once it loads in, if you're not logged in, sign into your account. Um, you want to look up to the top again. Actually, this is on the bottom now. What? Tricky, tricky. Okay, hit the little three dots right here at the bottom. And that brings up this screen, the more menu, and you scroll down till you find settings, just like we did in the other on the website. So tap on settings. Same place we're headed is private privacy and content restrictions, which is right there, third one down. And once you hop in here, we wait till it loads. And then we're looking for the same thing we looked on before for visibility and private servers right here. On this one, tap on that. And then you're gonna be in here, you wanna tap on obviously visibility we're going to tap on that one and same thing you had before yeah when you restrict Bob we know that online so just like we did before if who can see you online your online status you can change that so I'm going to change it to this one and it automatically see saves at the very top very easy to do you scroll down and this actually if I test it really quick while we're here guys I want to do hang on I'm going to refresh something Okay, so when I did it on my phone, it automatically fixed it on the website. So whatever you do on the website, 
will affect the, the mobile app, and what do you do in the mobile app will affect the, the um, website. So we change it to what we want down here like we did before. Who can see your current experience, which is the game you're playing, and can join you. I have on connections because I changed it on there. It switched it on here. So that's nice. So if you're, you don't have to worry about going to the device to do it, to change it. It already changes if you did it on the website, vice versa. And just like before, I don't want to share all my activities. That's never going to happen. So that's how easy it is to do it on the app and how easy it is to do it on the website. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. That's where all our articles are. And also make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.